Good afternoon guys. Um, I might have to talk up a little bit louder because the uh, rain is pouring down here on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. Um, as you all know, I've said before, we've had loads and loads of rain uh, coming, coming into our what, what we'd call autumn season in Australia. So we usually get less rain through the winter time. So yeah, I've just got to put up with it, but it's a bit noisy out there. Today I am using up these leftover colours. Probably some of them I won't use, I'm not sure, we'll just play it by ear. But I've got these colours and I thought, well, you know, I'll give it another go with my hair dryer, doing a big Aussie blowout and see how we go with it. So just bear with me and I'll try my best because I'm not very good at this particular uh, style. Uh, I've had some that turned out really lovely and then some that have turned out really not lovely. So I'll just go with it. I'll flood my canvas with the... Um, all this, I'm using Montmartre paints. They're all Montmartre. Uh, and I have made up 70% glue, 30% water in these containers and I've added them to my paint. But my pouring recipe and everything is underneath uh, and my stockist, who I get them from, another stockist, it's all there. Description, beginner's video, so, oh, getting some gubbers, heebie-jeebies from somewhere, picking up some paint, ah, never mind. It'll flood it over, won't, won't worry about that. Don't get stressed out, it's not worth it, it's just paint. So I've made up this white already in this container. So it's a pre-mix of the uh, titanium white and I've put the glue and water mix into it. So I've just made this a bit thinner than I would normally do because I want to just flood the canvas to do this particular pour. Uh, my... No, I've got a messy, a messy um, thing under there, but I'm trying to use as less lease as possible of those pea, pot, pea pods, <laughs> pea pads, pea pods, um, and use my silicon mat, but I haven't got a silicon mat available at the moment, so I'm just trying to do my best. You just do your best with what you have, so. I'll just pour this around probably would be a lot quicker doing this yes yes that feels so much nicer get your paints fingers in the paint it feels good it's therapeutic and we all need a bit of that at the moment just to it's I suppose if you're a bit um, obsessive compuls but compulsive you won't like your fingers in the paint maybe not but I love my um, fingers in the paint to feel the texture of it give it a nice spread out around your canvas and it's all gonna be dandy candy okay so thank you guys so much for watching my channel especially in this particular horrific time worldwide um, I don't want to dwell on the bad I always like to move forward and look forward to the good so i am really positive we're all going to be fine if we all do the right thing so what better time is there than now to just stay home and create even if you've never done it before you can order your your products online so you haven't got to go out shopping just give it a go give it a go i say right rightio i've got this absolutely gorgeous it's the uh, purple of the Montmartre because they've got all these gorgeous colours. These are the new colours. They have oh, double the amount of colours that they already have. So that's the purple right there that I'm using at the moment. So um, it's just, I'm going to go from side to side. 
I'm not sure how I'm going to do this. I'm going to keep maybe the same kind of, I'll go the phalo blue. Because I know these colours really sell well. I mean, it's not my particular intention for these particular ones, but um, just go. This is the gorgeous Montmartre gold, and I'm going to put some of that in there. See how we go. Yeah. And I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to put some of this other white that I have mixed, but it seems a little darker. I'm wondering if I added a bit of gold in that. So I'll put that down the sides. We'll just see how it turns out. If it doesn't turn out very good for me, then I will do a swipe or something like that. Now, do I need any more colour, she says. I think I will just give that a go, Joe, and see, see how I go. Okay, that's good. very effective let me give it a little zoom over with my wonder wand very feathery Just maybe some cells around there okay hmm not super duper exciting there's obviously nicer ones out there but let me have a play let me have a play this is just a little bamboo skewer and I love you know just doing a few odd things in your painting with it just adds a little bit pers more personal touch so you can do some little swirls in there just tracing some of that paint out into the negative space so but these paintings do really sell well uh, you know they obviously especially where I am the blues tones lots of blues they go well because it's a beachy area and they, they just look very pretty I suppose they just look uh, lacy and lovely the only thing that me doing this particular one, I think if you were doing this Aussie blow, I'm going to call it because I'm an Aussie and I'm doing an Aussie blow, um, is that I wouldn't put silicon in the paints. I would just do it with the paints that these particular paints were made up for another pour or several other pours. So I have got silicone in them. So I wouldn't put silicone if I was just particularly heading for the Dutch pour style, which is what uh, the Dutch pour that was brought out 
well, well it wasn't bought out by Rinska <laughs> um, because it's been done for many years but it made popular I should say by Rinska which is and she's a lovely lovely YouTube artist very professional very lovely lady but um, I don't think she would use silicone in a paint so I'm pretty sure she doesn't and I can see the blobs where silicone is showing its face so this kind of pour does not lend itself to have silicone in the paint but look at that it's still very lovely uh, let's just add in a little bit of diff you know a little bit of something to your pour by tracing it through with the skewer keep wiping your skewer off in between squiggles squiggles or wiggles or whatever you want to do in there it's up to you but there you go that actually looks really nice so I'm gonna leave that to dry and that will be one that I will put a gloss coating on I'm not really I do the um, oh I've lost it now the fusion pouring resin as a wipe on coat for my gloss coatings I don't actually pour resin directly onto much that I've done. Um, I mean, not saying that I won't in the future, I'll definitely give it more of a go, but I've just been busy with other things that work really well, so. There you go, I'll give you a close up. It's actually very, very pretty, and I just know the person for that particular one. My granddaughter will absolutely love that. She's got those colors in her room, so there you go that'll be for my granddaughter so i'm going to finish that off nicely and i'll play with thank you guys for joining me thanks so much for subscribing to my channel i truly appreciate each and every one of you and it is free to you guys and you are helping us youtube artists to stay afloat in many circumstances where people have lost their jobs and the youtube um, channels that might be the only thing that's keeping them afloat so now's a perfect time to support and plus give yourself um, a hobby or if you're already into it uh, different ideas for your pores if you want to join us on our uh, Australian acrylic pouring page by with Jilly Cube and Cabriol Shabby Chic you're more than happy to do so that's on Facebook so then you can post your pictures of your work there and I'd love to see them. There's quite a few moderators, so any questions, we're in encouraging each uh, one to help one another and be kind and respectful because we're not going to tolerate it any other way. Um, so thanks guys for joining me. Until next time, bye for now.